Hi and welcome to the next update of the project. I want to show you a few things that I have managed to improve since the last time you've seen uh, my work. So first of all, the entire lighting now is only dynamic. I'm not using static lighting at all because I had some issues with static uh, shadows. And in near future I will be using a lot of level streaming, so having uh, baked in lighting uh, it just doesn't cut it. As well as I might uh, go because of design reasons for a dynamic uh, sunlight. Uh, the project right now is actually using the dynamic sunlight. So this is the new Sun and Sky uh, Unreal Engine uh, asset. So I can you see manage lighting on a massive level. And yeah, so let's run it. I worked a bit more on the cloud simulation, so all the hair and all the clothes that are doing simulation are now working a lot better, colliding a lot better, and they act a lot more stiff. I had some issues with uh, long hair mostly on the NPCs, but I got it all fixed up. So let's jump in. We have the second tutorial telling us how the combat works. I still don't have. Um, hit reaction animation uh, and I've uh, reduced the range of the uh, side sense on those NPCs however once we start combating they actually uh, throw notifications to other enemies about our actions if they are nearby they're just making noises um, yeah uh, the notification now of the loot or anything that we are picking up is uh, not just cosmetic, this is actually the experience points that we're getting for killing those creatures. And because we have a fully functional um, character stat component, once we hit 1000 experience, we will actually level up. So that is level 2. Please help me. And I managed to work with um, all the NPCs that they are now streamlined. All the friendly and uh, enemy NPCs have a certain base class. And now all the friendly NPCs, they can be quest givers. And there's an advanced system that allows them to talk to us, follow us, and, you know, do other stuff. So let's talk with her. Can you help me? Um, we can just deny this quest but she will follow us anyway so because this is part of the tutorial so let's Can just take me? this quest uh, let's just s pretend that we are a nice guy and we got this notification we can end the conversation we just go out of range it doesn't matter it would end anyway and she's now following us so she's in uh, follow mode so, so she'll try to keep at least two three meters uh, behind us at all time. However, she can uh, catch more range than we and she's a bit slower on the movement. And that doesn't matter. She will try to follow us uh, whenever she sees us, but when she sees combat, she should actually run away. Oh, what this guy is doing there? And she unfortunately can be also a valid target to attack. However, we just uh, made threats to those enemies. Okay. And she's running away from the enemies. So if they come from here, she will run away this way. And after she run away a certain distance, she will try to get back unless we are still threatened by some enemies. You can also notice that we're getting less experience points for every kill because uh, right now we are level 2 and those enemies are still uh, low level. What are you doing here? Okay, I need to adjust the spawner. But you can see how he's ragdolling pretty nice. Um, so yeah, uh, because we have now level 2 character and those enemies are still level 1 so they're really weak, they're giving us less experience points. So we cannot just grind them to, to get level or something but they are still not very challenging they us. you 
You can as well hear different walking sounds on different surfaces. two guys and the most enough to get us to level 3 and from this point uh, we'll start working on the second quest that will go us uh, go from the quest to our uh, next encounter and introduce new enemies and abilities thanks for listening